figuring out, you know, how to live without that is, is a daily challenge. Laura Owens faced the unimaginable. For eight and a half years, her son Cole battled a rare form of cancer. Grief can be very isolating. It can make you feel like you're crazy um, or like you don't fit in this world anymore. Diagnosed in 2006, Cole was cancer free after a year of treatment and he went back to being a kid. But cancer returned just before his 10th birthday and Cole faced five years of aggressive treatments and surgeries. In 2014, when it became clear he wouldn't survive the disease, Cole experienced some lifelong dreams, like meeting Jimmy Fallon and going to Florida theme parks. You know, Cole had fought really hard to live, and so that's, that's what we focused on doing, was giving him as many experiences. And, and truly, in his 14 years, he experienced more than some people do in their 70 years. Um, and so I'm really proud of, of the life he was able to live despite all of what he went through. When her son died, Laura felt lost. I was in a place in my life where um, I was really struggling and I didn't know for sure if I could find a way to, to figure out how to live mm -hmm. again. The family was helped in Cole's final days by BJC's Wings Pediatric Hospice Program. In her grief, Laura found solace during their mother's retreat called Weavings. It was really transformative for me. I got to see a lot of other women in all different stages of their grief, women who had lost their children 15 years ago um, and women who had lost their children 18 months ago. Now, years later, Wings flew back into Laura's life through a unique program called We Remember. Volunteers with Friends of Wings came to her house and to her son's favorite park in the wee hours of the morning. And what we do is we collect symbols that represents the person that died, some things that they loved. Um, we try to also reach out to friends and families to collect quotes or pictures or memories of the person that has passed away. Friends of Wings started this tradition to support families who've lost loved ones. We collect around 100 symbols and we place them in the yard of the deceased the night before their birthday and we do it in a secret manner so that when they wake up the next morning they come open their door to a surprise of love and, and all these messages of people that are thinking of them and remembering their loved one. Friends of Wings has memorialized dozens of people who've passed away and has expanded their efforts outside patients from the Wings program. In Cole's case, family and friends worked with volunteers to collect stories, photos, and mementos, and some joined the overnight secret setup. It's amazing. I really, she is going to love this. And the fact that there are people out there who are thinking about this kind of thing for people who... Anyone who's had somebody pass away is awful, but especially when it's a small or a young child. So um, yeah, I think it's, it's amazing. The display tells Cole's story, his favorite number, 22, a soccer ball, a superhero symbol reminiscent of a cape he wore in the hospital. Yeah, what I love about this program is that it really does help not only the immediate family that has lost someone, but all the friends and the extended family that maybe don't have a, a way of expressing their thoughts or their love for the person that's passed away. Tiffany Bezaev's son also lost a part of his childhood when Cole passed. He is Cole's brother. Eli couldn't be here because he's stationed with the Army in Georgia, but he helped gather memories, including a trip the two boys took to Florida before Cole died. Oh my gosh, this is so important because this is an opportunity to honor Cole. Like we think about him every day, he's in our hearts every day, but not everybody knows how to channel that. The We Remember display touched Laura's heart. And that means so much that people are still loving my child with me, even though he's gone. Cole's memory lives on with a scholarship in his name at his former school, and a Facebook page in his name to help others dealing with childhood cancer. Sharing memories is so important. For many, I think it's the most important thing, you know, um, because the last, you know, you're, you never stop being proud of your child, you know? That, I will never stop being his mother. 
um, and to live in a world that doesn't acknowledge me as a mother or see me as a mother is really hard. Laura hopes talking about her remarkable son will inspire others to live like Cole did. Um, choose who you are and to live the life that you want to live and not the life that you were given. You know, that your, your circumstances don't have to determine your hopes and your dreams.